Hello everyone, welcome to IELTS Tutors. Today we are going to do Maths Magic and I'm going to try this on one of my students. If you want to try with us, you're more than welcome to. Right, so let's begin. Isha, can you think of a number? Okay, I've thought of my number. Can you double it? Okay, I've doubled it. Double it again. Okay, I've doubled it again. Now add 20 to it. Okay, I've added 20 to it. Right, and now divide your result by 4. Okay, I've divided my result by 4. And from, yeah, from that, can you take away your number? The original number, the number you started with. Okay, I've taken my original number away. And with my maths magic, I can tell what's your result. Your result is 5. How do you know? Right, everyone, have you tried it with us? Right. Let's try it for some of the numbers now, together. And there is no limit on thinking of any number. You can think of any number, but to keep it easy for ourselves, I'm gonna think of a nice and easy number. Let's think of 10. Double it, 20. Double it again will give me 40. And if I add 20 to this, I'm gonna get 60. And dividing it by four will give me 15. And from 15, if I take away my original number, which is 10, I will actually get 5. Right, and what if I think of 0? Start with a 0. Double it, I'll get 0. Double it again, I'll still get 0. And adding 20 to it, I'll get 20. 20 divided by 4 will give me 5. And 5 take away 0, which is my original number, I'll still get 5. Right, let's think of a negative number now. Negative two, say. Doubling it will give me minus four. Doubling it again will give me minus eight. And adding 20, we have to be very careful here because minus eight add 20 will give me 12, positive 12. And dividing it by four will give me three. And from three, we have to take away negative 2. You know that two negatives together will give you always a positive, so 2 plus 3 will give me 5. Right, let's try another number, say think of minus 5. Doubling it will give me minus 10. Doubling it again will give me minus 20. Adding 20 to minus 20 will give me 0. And from zero, if I take away negative five, that will give me again, because two negatives make positive, so that's why again, five. So you can see that my maths magic works on any number you can think of. I hope you liked my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.